Economist. In the meantime, the Obama administration set to name a new head of the Troubled Asset Relief Program, better known, of course, as TARP. According to a report in this morning's Wall Street Journal, Fannie Mae CEO Herb Allison, longtime Wall Street veteran, will be named to the post this week. He's been the CEO at Fannie since September, would take Neil Kashkari's place as the head of TARP. You probably know Kashkari by now. He was appointed by President Bush and then stayed on, has stayed in the job until a replacement was found. Apparently that replacement is going to be Herb Allison. <laughs> Doug Flynn is uh, back with us to talk a little bit about this. So we have, we have to discuss Herb Allison, of course, but on a different side, taking the story in a different direction, isn't this still a housing crisis? Aren't we still just as equally concerned about who's taking over Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? And moving this this guy who's only been in that position since September right, if he leaves, to now a completely different government program. What about right. housing? Yeah, they're, they're far from finished over there. There's still a lot of problems in housing. And, and I find in this area of the country and on the West Coast, too, you, you have a whole slew of people who could benefit. But because of those limitations on conventional mortgages of 417, 417,000, they can't get any help whatsoever. And there could be thousands of dollars a month per per household freed up if they would just expand some of those rules. So they have a lot of work to do, and uh, I'm not convinced that moving this guy over, and we don't even know who's going into the other, other slot, is going to make uh, that much of a headway. And I know they're trying to work through it, but they've got a long way to go. And the one thing about Herb Allison going over from Fannie Mae, if this happens, going over from Fannie Mae to TARP, is you, you want to, I wonder what should be the qualifications of someone to be in charge of this TARP program? In other words, do you want a Wall Street insider? Because that's essentially what Herb Allison is, right? He's been 30 years in Merrill and has worked at TIA CREF and now he's been at Fannie. But the point is, somebody worked on Wall Street for his whole life. Is that the type of person who should be doling out the quote unquote bailout funds to Wall Street or do you, maybe is it, should it be a government type? What should be the qualifications? Well, apparently it's okay as long as you cap his income, I think, right? Yeah, as long as you only <laughs> 500 grand. That's well, right. you know in government you're not going to be making That's more right. than 500 grand. Uh, Don't worry about it. I don't know. They send a lot of mixed messages over there. There's a lot of things that they said they were going to do that, they, that they're that they not. And um, and then you're blaming a lot of these people for all the problems, yet you're putting these people into the same people, exec yeah. executive slots. But we also consider this the, I, I prefer to call this the Bad Asset Relief Fund. That acronym is much more indicative of, of how I feel about uh, the whole, barf, what TARP really barf. is. BARF. BARF, yeah. That <laughs> Neil Kashkari, though, mm -hmm. here's someone that's really seen the dirty laundry. I mean, he's had access to all that information. So where does he go? Go back to Goldman, right? He was a I Goldman. I mean, that, could you imagine? Could he you was imagine where he was. Circle? Well, I think that once you're freed up, you can go back to the where you make some money, which is, well, as long as you don't have any government money uh, that you're taking, you can make some real money on the private sector. Again. That's the whole circle. Co coming so full circle. That's how it works, right? right? You know who should really be ahead of TARP is uh, Peter Barnes. <laughs> well, like our, you know what? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> but, uh, more about that I don't want to get Peter into any more, make any suggestions for his career. But good well, thinking. We love Peter at Fox Business. We don't want him to go anywhere. Doug, thank you very much. A lot of questions, obviously. <laughs> and. Uh,